our God is the self-existent one. Exodus chapter 3 verses 13 and 14. Then Moses said to God, Indeed, when I come to the children of Israel and say to them, The God of your fathers has sent me to you. And they say to me, What is his name? What shall I say to them? And God said to Moses, I am who I am. And he said, Thus you shall say to the children of Israel, I am has sent me to you. It is very interesting in this encounter that Moses has with God al alongside the burning bush. He proceeds to ask God, tell me your name so that I can go and announce to the people that this is the God I've encountered. And in response to that question, God makes the statement, I am that I am, referring to his eternal self-existent nature. I am the eternal God who is self-existent. He is the great I am, as we say it, or he is the Jehovah God, the God who is the uncreated creator. He draws, he has life in himself and he does not derive his life from any other source. And eternally he has been this way, the self-existent God. You know, sometimes people ask the question, who made God? Well, if somebody made God, then whoever that was would be God, would be bigger than God. God, as we are revealed, as God is revealed to us in Scripture, He is, he is the self-existent one. He never had a beginning. And this is something our minds cannot understand, but we, we submit ourselves to this truth that God is self-existent. He has life in himself. And Jesus described it like this in John 5 and verse 26. He says, For as the Father has life in himself, even so has he granted to the Son to have life in himself. God is self-existent. He does not depend on any external source for who he is, for his energy, for his strength. And his energy and his strength is unabated. It, it, it's just eternally there. It is eternally all-powerful. He does not increase in strength, neither does he diminish in his strength. He does not increase in wisdom, or does he does not increase in his understanding. He's always th that way. And is self-existent. He is the I Am. And so we humble ourselves before the great I am. We recognize the self-existence of God that because he is so great and he is so powerful, he has life in himself and he is the source of life and energy for everything else. We bow before the self-existent God. No one else and no other being in all of creation has this attribute. And so to the only one that we bow before is this God who is self-existent in nature. He has life in himself. He is not dependent on any other source for his life. And his strength never diminishes. It never comes to an end. It never extinguishes. He is eternally the same in his self-existent. So we bow and worship him for that. Let's do that today. We recognize God as the self-existent God, the I am who I am God. Let's pray. Father, we worship you. We bow before you. We recognize that you said, I am that I am. You are. You're always in the now. You are eternally self-existent. And you have life in yourself. You do not depend on anyone else for your life. And your life, your strength is unabated. God, it never changes, never decreases, never diminishes. We worship you as a self-existent God. We bow before you in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.